got this 2005 Escalade and I'm gonna be replacing the water pump on it. So I noticed that something was making a lot of noise. So I came up here and I was looking at all the pulleys and I noticed the water pump fully wobbling a little bit. So that's probably what it is. I'm gonna start off by taking this off. There's room to work with. I'm gonna start off by taking the belt off. That's a lot of play, it's crazy. You guys hear that? Definitely needs a new water pump. Now I'm gonna take off this top hose and then that bottom hose. Where I was messing around with all the pulleys and I noticed that this one has some play in it too. Placing that as well. <clears throat> now I'm going to start removing all these bolts that hold the water pump on. Now you take these two hoses off. So I got the water pump out and now I took the thermostat out, thermostat and thermostat housing. Now I'm going to put it on the new water pump. Alright, we got a little RTV all around. Now it's time to put this in there. gonna leave it kind of snug on there for about two hours and then come back and fully tighten it and you also have to put your tensioner on the new water pump and now I got the old gaskets off Got that clean. Now it's time for the new gaskets. Probably gonna put a little RTV just so it can stay in place. I might put them on the water pump. Put an RTV on the water pump. It's a bit of a pain getting these 
gaskets up in there. I'm gonna hold them with the uh, with the screws with the bolts. I'm gonna hold them with the bolts on there. All right, put a little RTV on here just to hold these in place. I already noticed one of them moved a little bit. It was a bit tricky to keep the gaskets in place while putting this on, but managed to do it. I'm just tightening up these 10 millimeter bolts. Should be six bolts. When you're installing this with the gaskets, it helps if you put the screws in to help hold the gaskets in place. Gonna screw in on each side. Now I'm about to get my serpentine belt on there. Look how it goes.
got my 15 millimeter socket on there and use that for the tensioner to loosen it up that should be it we should be good Topped off the coolant. Now she's running good. Not making any new weird noises. That water pump ain't moving all over the place. And the rubber floor wobbling everywhere. Everything sounds good. Thanks for watching.